All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about 17 work from home jobs with no talking needed. And all of these jobs involve AI. So if you're somebody who's really excited about AI, you wanna get in on the action because you know it's gonna be a massive industry and there's gonna be lots of opportunities in the next 10 to 20 years with it, this could be the perfect video for you. So if you appreciate me doing these types of videos, let me know by gently tapping that like button. And let's jump into it right now with number one on the list, which is an online task contributor. Now you might be asking, Shane, what the heck is an online task contributor? contributor? Well, that's a great question. This is basically where you evaluate the relevance of search results. And this ensures the accuracy of search results as well as cultural appropriateness. And companies that specialize in search technology and digital marketing often hire these positions. Now, an AI tool you might use with this would be the Google Cloud Natural Language API. And you'd likely be directly communicating or working with people who are programming the AI. So this is an excellent entry level position to kind of get around people that are actually doing AI related stuff and do a little bit of it yourself. And of course, this is going to look really really, really good on your resume when you try to get into more of the pure AI related jobs. And online task contributors make about 56 to $105,000 a year. And it's not that difficult to get into this type of job. Now, most of the jobs on this list do not require a college degree to get into them. And many of them don't require previous experience, but previous experience definitely helps. And if they do require it, it usually doesn't matter what previous experience you had. So yeah, this one's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a similar one, and it's going to be a media search and analyst. And this is basically where you research and evaluate web based content. And this is done to enhance user experience in various different apps and media. Now more and more different AI related tools are being used in this field. So you will very likely have some familiarity with AI tools, and you'll likely be interacting with people that are directly using them. So this is a really good job to get into where you can kind of get your foot in the door, and they make about 57 to $98,000 a year. So yeah, this is another really good one. As you can see, a lot of these jobs make really good money, anything that has anything to do with with data, AI, technology, et cetera, you can make really good money, even if it's entry level. So yeah, I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is an AI content creator. And this is basically where you utilize AI related tools in order to create content. And really you can do this in many different types of jobs, including writer, video editor, or graphic designer. And there's so many different tools out there you can use such as ChatGPT, Midjourney, Dolly, copy.ai, jasper.ai, et cetera. Now I don't want you to get confused here because if you just try to get AI to make your content for you, that's not going to work. What you're going to end up with is really crappy content. However, if you utilize AI to make your content even better and do it faster, then that is actually going to work. And content creators make about 46 to $86,000 a year. So yeah, this one's a pretty good one. Um, I will say it's a little harder to get into these types of positions. You really have to be good and know your stuff. So I'm going to give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, speaking of content creation, I am a content creator myself. And I guess I kind of technically work for Google. But with that being said, I have been able to get this channel to multi six figures per month. And I do all of it while only having to work four hours a week. And I've taught a bunch of other people how to do the exact same thing. So if that's something you're interested in, I do have a live training that you can attend, I'll be doing it this week, and it'll all be online. And you can check out the time and the location of that live training by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Now speaking of content, a very specific type of AI related content is AI content writing. And I wanted to make an entire section on this because it is getting more and more popular. So there's so many different tools out there for doing this. There's Jetpack AI Assistant, Alley Writer AI, ChatGPT, WriteSonic, Surfer.ai, Jasper AI, Copy AI, ClearScope, etc. There's so many different types of AI related content tools. And there's so many different types of content that you can help to make as well. For instance, you could make news articles, blog posts, you could help write YouTube video scripts, you could help write podcast notes. The the list goes on and on. Now, again, you can't just use AI to create the content for you. However, you can use AI to make your content better and faster. I utilize AI on this channel to help me to do some of the research for these videos. And guess what? AI content writers make about 48 to $90,000 a year. So yeah, this one's really good. It's completely viable. And that's another thing that I actually teach people. I have a few students per month that I teach how to do this. I teach them not only how to make content, but make it efficiently and sustainably so they're not having to work all the time. And it just becomes 
another full-time job and actually make money from that content. So if you think you might be a good fit for my coaching services, we do only accept a few people every month, but you can apply by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So yeah, this one is great. I think it's one of the best use cases right now for AI. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Another really interesting one is an internet safety evaluator. And this is basically exactly what it sounds like. There are AI tools that filter web content to make sure that really bad content uh, doesn't end up on the web. And some of the tools this position might use would be a Netcraft extension, Norton SafeWeb, and specifically the Norton Genie, which is an AI powered tool designed for scam detection. So again, this is another way that you can actually work with AI, even if you don't have that much AI experience or any experience at all when it comes to an actual job, you can get your foot in the door, work with AI, and then you can get into some of the higher level AI jobs that pay hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. And you make about 45 to 82 thousand dollars a year. So yeah, this one's really good. I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an online data analyst. And in this position, you'd basically scrutinize digital information to improve the content and quality of it. And tech firms and geospatial data companies often seek these professionals out. Now, beginner friendly AI tools that are often used in these types of positions include Polymer, Tableau AI, Monkey Learn, Jupyter AI, and Click. Now, this one is a bit more advanced and you can get into a data analyst job without without having any experience, you'd need to take some certifications and you need to build a really good portfolio. And also what really helps is freelancing. But with that being said, you make about 50 to $87,000 a year. And the more AI related it is, the more money you can make. So this is a really good one. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a translation evaluator. And this one is exactly what it sounds like. You basically use AI to evaluate translations. And some of the tools you might use with this would be DeepL, Google Translate, and Wordvice AI. Now, translation is not just a matter of the words, it's also understanding the cultural relevancy of the words that you're saying. And translators make about 59 to $98,000 a year. And if you get good at utilizing AI in order to help you with your translations, you can make even more money than that. So yeah, this is another really good use case for this. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an AI engineer. Now, this is one that's a little bit big brain. It's not something that everyone can just get into right off the bat. This is something where you could get into it after you've already gotten some, you know, foot in the door type experience in one of these other careers. And then you've also taken some certifications and some training on the side. And of course, you know, coding. Now, some of the languages and tools you might use here would be Skykit Learn, Keras, PyTorch, AutoML, H2O, and Google ML Kit. Now, like I said, these are some big brain tools tools. And in reward for being big brain and for working so hard to learn all these languages and frameworks and all these different pieces of software, you get paid $106,000 to $196,000 a year. So yeah, you can make really, really good money. So this one is not as accessible as many of the other ones on the list. But with that being said, still really good. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, comment down below uh, which ones you like that I've included, which ones you don't like, which ones I should have included, but I didn't, etc. I want to hear your comments. A lot of the time I'll read them and then I'll end up including them in a future video. Next is going to be an artificial intelligence associate. And this is a position where you have kind of a blend of AI tech and editorial creativity. And you basically guide companies on how they can enhance their company's operations as well as content creation. And this is especially common in tech and media companies. So some of the tools you would use here are, of course, ChatGPT, OpenAI, and Google Analytics AI insights are essential. So you could do this one by working full time for a company, or you could be kind of a consultant where you work with a bunch of different companies. An interesting fact is about 77% of devices today are already using AI in some capacity. So yeah, this is a very, very valuable skill set and job to have. And that's why you get paid 73 to $135,000 a year. And this is one of the easier AI related jobs to get into. So yeah, really like this one. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an AI artist. So again, guys, I just want to emphasize this. You can't just purely have the AI do all the work for you. You have to have some guidance. You have to get really good at prompting. You have to have some artistic ability in the first place to make really good AI art. So you're using the AI to make better art and make it faster. And Dolly and Mid Journey are two really good tools for doing this. And there are AI artists on Instagram that are getting hundreds of thousands of followers and they're very open about being AI artists. So there's a bit of a stigma around AI related art and I can kind of understand where it comes from. But if you've ever tried to make AI art, I guarantee you, you know that it's not as simple as just typing a few words 
and some beautiful piece of artwork pops up. You have to make many, many adjustments before you get to the end result that you want. Now, this is a relatively new job, but according to ZipRecruiter, AI artists make about $69,000 a year. So learning these skills can be very lucrative because to be honest, it's pretty hard to get an AI artist job. It's pretty art hard to get a artist job in general, to be completely fair with you, right? You guys know that on this channel, I am just straightforward. I don't like to BS you guys. It's hard to get an artist related job. So the fact that you could become an AI artist and it's a realistic thing that you could do and the barrier to entry is pretty low is pretty awesome. But with that being said, I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a chat bot trainer. And this is another one that's really easy to get into. The barrier to entry is very low. And basically you are are training chatbots. So you're making sure that chatbots are able to respond to people in an intelligent way. And on top of that, you make sure that they know when to pass that person off to a real human being. Because a lot of the time people will ask questions on different websites. And at first a chatbot answers the question. But if the chatbot isn't able to answer their question adequately, it needs to be smart enough to know to pass it off to a real human being. So the customer experience isn't bad. And chatbot trainers make 51 to 91 thousand dollars a year that's how crazy these jobs are guys there's so many ai related jobs that even the entry level ones the really relatively easy ones to get into are like 51 to 91 thousand dollars a year absolutely ridiculous so yeah i'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score next is a really cool one i absolutely love this one and that is a prompt developer and this is somebody who basically designs effective and accurate prompts using AI and they typically do this for companies. So they go into a company, they figure out like, okay, what, what do you guys do? What are the tasks you do on a day-to-day -day basis? How can we streamline this? How can we use AI to make it faster and better? And if you've ever used AI, you'll know that prompting is incredibly important because of this concept called Geigo. And Geigo means garbage in, garbage out. If you put garbage prompts into AI, it's going to give you a garbage result. But if you put good prompts into AI, it's going to give you a good result. And if you put great prompts into AI, it's going to give you a great result. And unbelievably, even though AI just came out a few years ago, or just went mainstream a few years ago, AI prompt engineers are making ninety-three dollars to $153,000 a year. Absolutely nuts. And this is one of the easier ones to get into. So yeah, you don't have to have crazy technical knowledge to do this. You just need to understand how the AI works so that you can prompt it correctly. So I'm going to give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. It's one of my favorites. Next is going to be a a data annotation specialist. And this is basically where you review and label data related to AI. And you're almost like a librarian, except instead of organizing books, you're organizing data. And instead of doing that in order for humans to learn efficiently, you're doing it in order for AI to learn efficiently. Now, a crazy statistic is over 90% of the data in the world was created in the past four years absolutely mind blowing. So like I said before, any data related job is really good. This one is actually extremely easy to get into. You do not need a college degree. You do not need previous experience. And they make about 46 to $76,000 a year. Now, by the way, guys, uh, once in a while, I'll get a comment on the channel uh, from people that don't watch some of my other videos where they'll basically say, Shane, I looked up some jobs that are related to this and they did say they require a college degree or they did say they require previous experience. First of all, a lot of the time jobs will just say this and then if you apply, like they just don't care, right? They just say it for some stupid reason. But if you apply, it doesn't matter. So a lot of the time it's best to just ignore the previous experience thing and just apply anyways. I can't tell you how many people I know, students that I've taught who have done this and have still gotten jobs. So just ignore it and apply anyways in most cases. And if you appreciate pro tips like that, go ahead and give the channel a subscribe because I think only 20% of you that watch these videos are subscribed, which is very sus. So yeah, data annotation specialist, really love this one. I'll give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a marketing operations coordinator. And this is somebody who coordinates the marketing operations of a company. And specifically, they utilize AI tools for innovative marketing content creation, as well as campaign management. And they're commonly hired by tech firms, digital marketing agencies, and corporations with a strong online presence. Now, of course, you can use Canva, Midjourney, Dolly, et cetera, for the design part. And many different email marketing softwares are integrating AI now as well. And you're likely gonna be using Google Analytics, which integrates AI too. And marketing operations coordinators make about 48 to $69,000 a year. So yeah, this one is pretty good. 
Also, I'm a huge fan of digital marketing. I've helped a bunch of people get into digital marketing jobs on this channel. I've interviewed a bunch of them. You can check out this one, for instance. And by the way, if you wanna know how they got into those digital marketing jobs, my business partner, Seth, actually does a free masterclass which teaches you exactly how to get into digital marketing. And you can check that out by clicking the link in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Next is going to be a geo data evaluator. And this is somebody who enhances the accuracy of digital maps and they're starting to integrate AI into this as as well. Now, the tools you'd be using here are the Google Earth Engine for satellite data analysis and QGIS with AI plugins for geospatial data processing. And geo data specialists make about seventy-two dollars to $98,000 a year. So yeah, another really good one. A bit harder to get into because you have to have some specialized knowledge and skills. But with that being said, I'll give this one a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a legal transcriptionist. Now, this is basically where you do transcription, but you do it specifically for law firms and lawyers. So for instance, you might listen to a court hearing or a proceeding, and then you would transcribe it, but you do it in a certain way that includes certain legal terminologies and footnotes. And there are softwares out there that are starting to help people to do this. So this is another example of where you can work with AI software. So there's speech to text software such as Nada. This is one that you could be using for this. And legal transcriptionists make about 60 to $97,000 a year. So yeah, it does involve a lot of writing, might not be a job that you want to do for the rest of your life, but you can make pretty good money with it. And you can utilize AI to be better and faster. So I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a Google Sheets, Excel, or Airtables specialist. So this is somebody who uses either Google Sheets, Excel, or Airtables, which they all kind of do the same thing, but they're a bit different in order to organize data. And guess what? AI is heavily involved here as well. So some of the AI tools you can use would be Simple ML, Prompt Loop, and GPT for Sheets and Docs. And by the way, if you're thinking Shane, there's no way you can make money from Google Sheets, right? Well, there's an entire category of freelancers on Upwork.com that do exactly this. So you can definitely make money from this. And in fact, the normal salary is about $58,000 a year. So yeah, this is another one where you can make money, get your foot in the door, start freelancing, doing something like that, and get some AI-related experience you can put on your resume and then get an even better job down the line. I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you haven't checked it out already, I did do a video that went viral and that's the seven remote jobs that are always hiring. And you can check that out by clicking right here.